Hello Mech Warriors and welcome to 90 Minute Mechs Episode 3, the show where I challenge myself to come up with a 90 minute paint scheme for a battle mech and then show you how I did it. For today's episode I've been having a look through your requests in the comments and I found one that I thought would be really fun to take a stab at. So we're going to be having a go at the Battlemaster from the Game of Armoured Combat starter box and we'll be painting it in the colours of the first Marek Militia. So if you're a fan of purple and you want to see how this one goes, the first thing I'd ask you to do is give the video a like and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. But after that you can sit back, grab a drink and join me. Let's do some painting. Step one is all of the off the timer stuff. I allow myself a little time before I start the clock to prime and prep models off camera. So this is how I'm starting the Battlemaster, an all over primer black, a base coat of Viejo model color royal purple, and this gets us nicely ready to go for a great looking purple. There's nothing else I need to do here. The actual painting, and therefore the timer, starts with a mixture of Viejo model color purple and royal purple. About equal parts will do, uh, I thin this right down and I use it to build up some nice volumes on the armour panels. And this hasn't taken too long, uh, it's also not done a ton of work though to be fair. I think we will need to do at least another stage of this process, but a little bit brighter. So that's exactly what I do next, uh, this time I'm going to grab pure purple. And again, I'll thin it pretty significantly so that it's fairly transparent as I layer it in. I'm not being overly quick or careful with this process here. We can cover our tracks at a later date with battle damage if we need to, so there's not really too much necessity for precision here. And after finishing this stage, I'm now far more satisfied that I'm seeing a bit of a range of purples and not just a flat colour. But I do want a little bit more pop. So I'm going to try and achieve that with a two-stage edge highlight. Uh, the first stage will be roughly equal parts of the Viejo model colour purple and the introduction of some Reaper Master Series Punk Rock Pink. I'm not going to hammer every single edge here, I'll just pick out enough of them to make things pretty. We are on a time crunch. Step 5 brings us straight onto that second, finer highlight, this time with pure Punk Rock Pink. And this should really help our mech stand out now with some great definition. If you want some nice tips on edge highlighting when you're not in a rush, I actually have a video all about the subject which I'll link in the top right hand corner of the screen. Okay, so we're now about half an hour in and the armour is mostly where I want it. We may take one last look towards the end, but I'm gonna move on for now. Right, we next have to do some accent panels in both blue and red, and I hadn't really decided which panels I wanted to do, which is why I just painted everything purple to start with. I'm not going to hold up the tutorial aspect of this video by going over them meticulously, because I'm going to be using exactly the same techniques I used for the armour, just on smaller areas. However, I will give you the colours because they're very simple. My red accents will be successively brighter mixes of Vallejo game colour, gory red and sunny skin tone. My blue panels will be Vallejo model colour, dark Prussian blue and Vallejo model colour, blue green. And that's exactly what I've done here, uh, opting to go for those slightly desaturated colours just to try to contrast a little bit more against the vibrant purple. Time is also looking pretty good, we're just past the halfway mark. Okay, really easy step now, I'm just going to quickly base coat my black areas and uh, I'm also going to base coat my metallic areas. So VMC black for the black areas, Viejo metal colour airbrush dark aluminium for the metal parts. I know that's a mouthful, it's a great paint though. Uh, just straight and simple flat painting here, nothing, nothing exciting at this stage. And with that done, we're really starting to see a degree of finishedness to our Battlemaster. You may notice, perhaps a little unusually, that I've gone for a silver cockpit here too. This is purely a thing that I've just not tried before and wanted to have a dabble with to see how it works. You'll see how that develops soon. So again, we have a couple of very short and simple steps now that I'm going to combine into one. Firstly, I'll highlight all the blacks by mixing a couple of steps of Viejo model colour Ivory into the same black that I base coated with. And again, just using the same approach as previously. Uh, I'll also non oil the metallics here so that I'm free to step away, let things dry, have a coffee. 
And when I got back, I was greeted by a mech that is, well, actually very nearly finished. I'm now at that lovely finishing touches step, and I still have half an hour left to work. So for the main one of those finishing touches, I want to grab some Viejo Metal Colour Dura Aluminium. This is the same range as the Dark Aluminium. And I'm going to run in a highlight across the top of that canopy. I'm still going for like a reflective glass here as opposed to metal, so I don't want it to read as the same colour as the guns. I'm then going to finish this off with a little zap of Ethermatic Blue Contrast Paint from Citadel, and I'm just kind of removing that paint from the highest surfaces before it fully dries, so that it's more towards the sides and the bases. And with that done, we reach the part where I like to turn off the camera, spend the last chunk of my time just freestyling and choosing what I want to do to get this as polished as possible. If you're following along at home, I encourage you to do the same as well. Have your take on these last few minutes and concentrate on pushing the things that you feel are important. So after the remaining time has elapsed, where does that leave our Maric Battlemaster? Okay, well, somewhat predictably, I decided to do one last stage of highlights on the armor, just mixing some ivory and pink. I also used the ivory to do a few freehand decals and stripes here and there. Finally, for the basing, just went with some really simple aggregates, no painting necessary. And then a little touch of red pigment powder on the lower legs just to simulate kicked up dust. If you followed along, comment below and let me know how you spent your free choice time at the end. I'm always curious to see what different decisions people make to wrap up these pieces. And so another 90 minute mechs comes to a close with a beautiful assault mech finally joining our lineup. I really like this scheme and I hope that my super fast 90 minute approach has still done House Marek proud, but I'm going to leave that to your judgement. So please remember folks, if you enjoyed this content, please consider giving the video a like, subscribing to the channel, and maybe even checking those links below to support the content directly through Patreon. That would be amazing. And until next time mech warriors, happy hobbying, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.